Hi there, welcome to All About Living. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to make Can't Fail Fudge, which is super easy to do. Fudge is really, really tricky. And if you don't get it just right, you get this blob of ooze. So, this one can't fail first time, every time. So, let's get started. Okay, so four ingredients is so easy y'all you need some chocolate chip morsels i use the semi-sweet but really any kind of chocolate that you like a fourth of a cup of butter and one can of sweetened condensed milk and one little teaspoon of vanilla now i like to top mine with pecans but that's an absolute option and last but not least, you're going to need an 8x8 or a 9x9 pan to set your fudge up in. Now, you can use just butter and put it in there, but I find sometimes that it'll still stick. But if I use the wax paper, parchment paper, then it comes right out. I can cut it up, slice it, and put it away right then. And then... I didn't make a mess. So it's a win-win. You guys know the drill. Got to get an eye on. I'm going to use this back one because it has the right flame. And we're going to turn that down to like a medium low. And we're going to set our heavy bottom. You need a heavy bottom pan to make fudge in. And we're going to start by opening up our can of sweetened condensed milk. And we're going to pour that right into the pan. Get as much of that goodness as you can get. There we go. All right, and now we need three cups of chocolate morsels. One. Two. And three. All right, y'all, is it just me? Or didn't these packs of chocolate chips used to be 16 ounces? Now they're 12. And I paid $2.99 for Publix brand. You know, not even the good Toll House. You know, they were, I don't know, they were almost $4.00 for the same size bag. And I was like, well, a chocolate chip is a chocolate chip. So we're gonna use Publix. But I really, seems to me like last time I bought them, they were 16 ounces. You know, y'all let me know. I, I smore that shrinkflation for you. All right, after just a couple of minutes, I'm getting a little warm down there. So I'm gonna start stirring. And combining that condensed milk and that chocolate. And what I'm looking for, I'm going to stir it. Or keep a watch on it. Until it's completely melted and combined. And I'm back to it. Just gonna stir. Let that keep melting down. Just every couple of minutes, you'll want to go in there and make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom and that it's still melting. I think this has got a good little bit to go. It's still really shiny. 
and a little lumpy, so we're going to let it go just longer. Now, I have tried 10 different, over the years, different recipes, and I thought I had found one. It was old-fashioned fudge. You know, you use the evaporated milk and sugar and butter and cocoa and then the chips. One time it would work and be absolutely perfect. The next time it would look like glue. And I just got, you know, and my friend Gail told me about this one because she was having the same problem. She said last year at Christmas time, and, and she has been making fudge for 40 years. And she said she did it twice and both times it failed. She did it the third time and they worked out great. She said, but I got to do better than this. I'm not throwing away all this stuff. It's just crazy. So anyway, she found this one and then told me, and I've made fudge three or four times, and I can't fail. So this is the new perfect fudge recipe forever. You just want it like really hot and really well combined. So that's where we are. Now I'm going to turn this off, completely off, and I'm going to add my butter, which I didn't put a spoon out. <laughs> right. Quarter of a cup of butter. Now I'm using salted butter, so I don't have to add any salt, but if you have unsalted butter, then you'll need to put a pinch of salt in there because that makes your chocolate a little sweeter. Okay, now I'm just working that butter in. I got too much on my spoon. Work it, work it, work it. That butter all combined. Okay, now I've got my butter all combined. There's none laying on top. It's completely in there. Now that butter's cooled it down a little bit, I'm going to add one teaspoon and I'm just going to eyeball it of vanilla extract. And we're going to get that all combined. And we are just going to drop that in there. Yes, Randy gets to lick the bowl. Oh, there's a lot. You can't lick all that. Okay. Take that. Drop that in there. And then we're just going to shake it. You can pat it down if you like. But I find that shaking it gets it pretty flat. Now, we all love pecans around here, so I'm just going to sprinkle some chopped pecans all over the top. Not but just a few ounces, but it makes so much difference. Alright, then I'm going to give it another good shake. Get those pecans all down in there. 
So now I'm going to just leave it sit right here for two hours. And then we're going to put it in the fridge for two hours. And then we can cut it up. Two hours on the counter. Two hours in the fridge. And look at my fudge. Okay. And we're just going to lift. Look at that. I'm going to lift that out. I'm going to set it on the cutting board so it'll be easier to cut. Lay my parchment paper out. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Perfect. And I want you guys to see how smooth that is. It's not grainy. Yep, perfect fudge. Can't fail. This is All my right. favorite part right here, especially with fudge. Yeah, of course it is. Uh -huh. He loves chocolate. <clears throat> oh gosh, your teeth just sink right into that delicious chocolate. Yeah, you only get the corners. What? You can only have the corners. Why? Because that is for something else. <laughs> That's really good, Tammy. You did a good job. Yeah, I know. There's two more corners. <laughs> Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.